10 out of 10 clones. That's what we're going to be talking about today. Hello friends, I'm George, the nice melic gentleman. Welcome back to the channel, I hope that all of you are doing well. It's time for your daily dose of some fragrance content and it's time to talk about 10 out of 10 clones. And I've prepared 11 such fragrances that I'm going to show you today. Let's start off with something that's very very strong, literally very strong. It comes from the brand of FOMO and it's called Gary's Den Le Parfum. And this fragrance is heavily inspired by your own parfum. Now, don't think of this as a straight up clone of your own parfum. The original fragrance is such a masterpiece that I doubt that anybody can create a, really a one-to-one -one clone to it. But this thing will get you very, very close to the original scent. It feels a little bit different, although it carries pretty much the same properties as the original scent. You got an iris note that feels powdery, but not as powdery as the original fragrance. You got a strong leather note which feels a little bit different compared to the original one. You get some oodiness on the dry down. What this lacks though is a bit of the rose that the original fragrance has and this feels a little bit more woody compared to the original scent. Feels a little bit more balsamic. Lacks the powderness of the original fragrance and lacks a bit of the sweetness but still it's a great scent on its own that smells very very similar to the original fragrance. It's very very strong uh, performance wise. It's a beastly performer both when it comes to longevity and when it comes to uh, you know to projection as well feel most o feels almost as powerful as uh, your own perfume which is already a very beastly fragrance i know that in some parts of the world your own perfume can be pretty much impossible to find or costs a lot of money and in those cases if you're looking for something that will get you very close to your own perfume but for quite a bit less money then you can check out gary's den le perfume from fomo the next one is uh, relatively new to the markets. It comes from the brand of Armaf and from the tagline and it's called Takim Uomo Rosso. And uh, this is a fragrance that's heavily inspired by Paco Rabanne's Invictus Victory Elixir. And it's done really, really nicely. I have quite a few clones of Invictus Victory Elixir and to be honest, all of them are really, really nice. But probably this is uh, my most uh, favorite clone of uh, Invictus Victory Elixir. It will get you very close, although in the opening feels a little bit uh, fresher compared to the original scent. But other than that, it carries that very modern, very sweet, very sexy scent that's very likable and is a compliment getter. Performance is really good with uh, Taki Momo Rosso. The quality is really good all around. Uh, this is uh, done very, very nicely. And it's also very, very cheap and quite a bit underrated, at least for the moment, in my opinion. And th this fragrance deserves uh, more attention than it currently gets. My next suggestion comes from the brand of Mason Alhambra and it's part of the Glacier line and it's called Glacier Ultra. And this fragrance, as you can probably guess, is inspired by Jean-Paul Gaultier's uh, Ultra Mall. Now, I've said this many many times but I absolutely love the original fragrance it's such a great youthful playful scent that uh, you know it's a really ro lovely scent and I've loved it uh, since the day that it was introduced now there are quite a few ultra more clones at this point and some of them are really really good and Glacier Ultra is one of those uh, you know better clones of uh, ultra more that you can get it carries the very similar scent to the original fragrance. You get that uh, signature sweetness and mintiness that the original, uh, the whole original Le Mans line has. But in here, like the original scent, you get a, an addition of a very sweet pure note that just adds more freshness, more sweetness, and just uh, makes the whole scent pro profile a little bit uh, youthful. It's a great scent for a clubbing night, uh, you know, a great playful type of scent. And Glacier Ultra will get you very, very close to the original scent. Of course, doesn't feel identical, but it will get you very close and also has very, very nice performance to go with that as well. Kayet Intense. And this fragrance is cloning Givenchy Gentleman Reserve Privé. And again, another clone that's done very, very nicely. And that's why it's being part of this uh, video called 10 out of 10 clones. It carries a very, very similar scent to the original fragrance. You get that very warm, very sweet uh, scent profile that the original fragrance has. It has quite a bit of powderness as well. You have a strong iris note in here. You get a bit of chestnut. You get a bit of uh, 
a boozy note in here maybe a hint of tobacco as well it's done very very nicely and it's also a very very strong performance wise tends to last for a very long time projects really nicely and all around the quality here is superb and the best thing is that it's uh, priced uh, very uh, af affordably now there are some rumors i've heard some rumors from some of my viewers that this fragrance has been discontinued i don't know if that's true or not if it's true that's a real shame because this uh, fragrance wasn't on the markets for a very long time and i think that uh, it's a one of the best latafa creations and i really do hope that it's not been discontinued so more people can actually try out kite intense and now moving on to a couple of fragrances from the brand of arabiat prestige and my perfumes which is the the parent company of arabiat prestige now both fragrances that i'm going to show you have one con and that's the fact that they're a little bit more pricey but in return you get superb quality and great performance the first one is part of the Aris series and it's called simply Aris. and this fragrance is a clone or something that's been heavily inspired by suspiro vibrato and bulgaris tiger it carries that very signature very masculine scent profile that i absolutely love it's a super versatile scent that relies on a lot of citruses on a grapefruit sweet grapefruit note you got some musks you got uh, some woods you got some spices again a very very masculine and very versatile fragrance that can serve as a great signature scent to anybody the quality here is superb the performance is superb and uh, all around a very very nice fragrance just again with one minor con and that's the fact that it's a little bit more expensive but my next suggestion from Arabiat Prestige it's called Aris and my second Arabiat Prestige suggestion in today's video is part of the hypnotic line and it's called hypnotic oud this fragrance is a clone of Mason Margiela's by the fireplace and it's done absolutely fantastically well super super similar to the original fragrance maybe feeling a just a touch sweeter compared to the original scent it carries that very same scent uh, you know got quite a lot of vanillic and sugary sweetness you got some woodsiness quite a bit of woodsiness in here you got a strong smoky note you get a bit of chestnut very warm very cozy very sophisticated scent that i absolutely love i'm a big sucker for that uh, whole dna it has fantastic quality it has beastly performance super long lasting and also projects quite nicely it's not a super loud fragrance but still would have uh, quite a good sustain sustained uh, projection and this fragrance actually has better performance than the original the quality again is absolutely top notch and again the only con of uh, hypnotic good is that it's uh, a little bit more expensive but at least you get great quality and performance in return now moving on to a few offerings from the brand of uh, Fragrance World and some of them from French Avenue actually. The first one is called Mirage Absolu and this fragrance is a clone of Parfum de Marlis Leighton Exclusive. And again another thing that's done really really nicely with top notch quality but nowadays uh, French Avenue have seemed to be putting out a lot of great fragrances and Mirage Absolu is one of those. It takes the uh, OG Leighton scent and makes it a little bit more niche makes it a little bit more woody makes it a little bit darker and again makes it a little bit more niche because a lot of people argue that the original Leighton is actually doesn't feel like a, a niche fragrance feels more like a designer designer level scent but with uh, Leighton exclusive things are taken a notch up and Mirage Absolute actually replicates the original scent really really nicely superb quality superb performance superb projection again slight more pricey than your usual clones but again you get great quality in return and you also get great packaging the next one actually comes from fragrance world themselves and it's part of the posh line and it's called posh omega now this fragrance is uh, very underrated in my opinion and i just recently covered it in another video i think it was yesterday but this fragrance is cloning a discontinued gem from the brand of jean paul gautier which is called essence de parfum and it actually replicates it very very nicely it, it's a very interesting very sexy scent profile that's also somewhat similar to carolina herrera's uh, ch uh, privé it has uh, quite a bit of leather you got some spices a very nice cardamom note in here you get some sweetness you get some leather in here all around feels slightly powdery all around a very very interesting scent that feels a little bit old school at this point but i i'm a huge fan of the original scent which unfortunately again has been discontinued and it's quite hard to find but luckily enough we have posh omega to uh you know to substitute for that original fragrance good performance and projection and affordable price and my last suggestion from the brand of fragrance world and to be more specific from french avenue is called royal blend 
and this is a clone of Killian's Angel Share. Yet another clone of Angel Share, but in my opinion, the best clone of Angel Share that you can currently get. Very, very similar to the original fragrance, replicates that superb cognac note that the original fragrance has very nicely. And in fact, to my nose, this even feels like having a little bit stronger boozy note compared to Angel Share itself. You get the, the boozy note, you get the spices, you get the oodsiness, and you get the, amount, the, the nice amount of sweetness that the original fragrance has. Smells very sophisticated and it's a very strong scent that lasts for a very long time and projects very, very nicely. Perfectly unisex, carries a, an affordable price and comes luxuriously packaged. So what more you can ask from a fragrance, from a clone fragrance. The next one comes from the brand of Paris Corner and it's one of my latest discoveries, although this is not a new fragrance to the markets, so I am a bit late to the party on this one, but still, finally I was able to get my hands on a bottle of this fragrance and it turned out to be a great one. It's called Camaro Homme Intense and it's a clone of Dior Homme Intense, as you can probably guess. It's quite similar to the original fragrance, but feels like a slight twist. You still get the iris powderness and sweetness, you get the musks, the umbrette, you get the, the sweetness of the pure note, you get the oods on the dry down, but in here what it's kind of different uh, to my nose compared to the current uh, formulations of the original fragrance is that I pick up uh, you know, a hint of a leather note, which brings it also somewhat close to your own perfume has a very nice quality and has a very very good performance and probably this is one of the best if not the best performing Dior Homme Intense clone that I have in my collection currently. It's very affordable and at this current time this actually is my most favorite Dior Homme Intense clone in my collection. And my last suggestion in today's video is again one of, mo one of my most recent purchases. It comes from the brand of Orientica and it's called Royal Blue and this fragrance is a clone of from the Marlis Leighton and it's another superb clone of Leighton and I've been really liking Royal Blue to be honest I just did a review of this one uh, this week I think and uh, it's, it's been quite an impressive scent I really like the bottle design although I know that this is uh, more of a personal thing some people maybe uh, won't be uh, liking the design itself, but I really like it. But what's the more important part is that the quality of the scent is very, very high. It's very similar to Leighton, especially in the air feels identical. Up close, it's a little bit different. Maybe uh, feels uh, a little bit less spicy and green in the opening, it's like having a little bit more of an ambery sweetness. And on the dry down, getting very, very close, but the quality and the performance are top notch. Performance wise, this is as good of a performer as Leighton itself. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's a, it's a great fragrance all around and I've been really loving uh, Royal Blue. It's a little bit more expensive, that's, uh, that's true, but again, you get a great quality in return. So my last suggestion in today's video for a 10 out of 10 clone from Orientica Royal Blue. And so there you have them guys, 11 10 out of 10 clones from my collection. I hope that you found this video interesting to watch. If you did, give it a like. And I also hope that you're going to join me tomorrow for your daily dose of some fragrance content. And until then, stay safe and bye bye.